Well, hello, my peeps. It's Antoinette here. Today's video, I actually contemplated whether I was going to do it or not, but I thought that there was some value in uh, having a little humility. So it's been two months since I lost my job and there are no mortgage jobs out there. And um, uh, it, it's been harder <laughs> to find a job making what I was making um, harder than I thought. So, uh, and it is a full-time job looking for a job. <laughs> From the loss of my job, I had to put a pause on my Dave Ramsey total money makeover plan. Uh, now there are a few things that I'm happy about that I did do. So I was working on paying off this kitchen renovation and I did pay off $8,000 uh, before I lost my job uh, since I started last July. So I'm really glad that I did that. I have a $2,500 balance on it now and I, I really was hoping to knock that out by this spring. But I lost my job instead. So I'm grateful that I did pay off that much because I have freed up that much equity line uh, in the event I have to use some of it. Um, but I went and <laughs> I went and applied for food stamps with the state of Wisconsin. And guess what? I mean, with this economy and the price of food, inflation, and gas, you know what I was awarded? For having no income except for unemployment. $20 a month. Can you imagine that? What is $20 a month going to buy? I, at the same time, I, I applied for energy assistance for my utility bills. Denied. <laughs> I'm like, what? You don't get any help here. Now, one thing too. The last time that I was unemployed was in 2013. And I did go to the food pantry back then, which is why when I was doing the Dave Ramsey Total Money Makeover, that that's what I decided my charity was going to be and I was donating well I was thirty dollars a week I was buying food uh, for the food pantry uh, while I was doing the program um, and the reason being is because back when I was last unemployed in 2013 I went to the food pantry but when I went to the food pantry this is what happened to me This is me and my twin sister. This is me quite heavy from eating toast and cereal and all the carbs that are at the food pantry. This is me and my daughter. So I look older in these photos uh, that are nine years old than I do now. This is 50 pounds ago, um, at least. I'm 50, 55. It was right when I got back to work after this uh, is when I went on strict keto. So I was surprised when I found out how much the food pantry has changed. Let me show you. The first thing I did was pull out these photos because I knew what the food pantry did to me because it was all carbs. So I couldn't let that happen. Um, I know that I have to carb up a little bit uh, and I'm just gonna have to be more mindful about my calories and what I eat and what I actually accept. But I have accepted some things that I would not normally living my keto lifestyle um, but I made the best choices possible first off there were the three carb tables <laughs> of you know all this bakery sweets and bread uh, so I just passed on by those I did take some uh, you know 
canned soups. Right. Now, yeah, it's it's carby, 24 carbs, but you know, I'm I'm I've been in maintenance. So I was just staying at like 50 carbs a day. That's why you're not seeing me really lose weight because I'm just happy to stay in my size 10 and, and good blood work levels. Um, but I figure that if this is a, a meal, uh, which I'm only eating twice a day, uh, then I, I, I could deal with this if the other meal is, you know, uh, carb free essentially or less than five. I usually try to stay under five carbs a meal, 10 tops. So this is carving it up, but I didn't take any of the fruit and I asked them if I could have more of the vegetables and the soup uh, and not take the, the fruit cans because you know they, they allow you like two of this, three of that, you know, whatever the number is. Um, so I would skip that and they were, you know, very good about all that. I found they were very good about special diets. They even had a gluten-free table, which I did visit. So uh, let's get to some of these products. I couldn't believe that they had this big, huge bag of Swerve. This is the confectioners. This is three pounds. Now, I will say with the food pantry, you do have to watch out for expiration dates. Like this says, Best Buy 7-2022, which is why it was probably donated. Uh, this looks like it came from Amazon. It has an Amazon looking sticker. Best Buy, I just, you know, use my senses and decide if it's still good or not. Uh, because there's no way that I'm getting through this by the end of next month. <laughs> I'm thinking it's probably going to be good for a year. Another surprise was this. These parm crisps with the uh, everything bagel seasoning. Now, one, one carb. This nice big bag. 10.6 ounce bag of crackers. I was happy to see the slivered almonds on the table. These are very nice. Uh, Southern Grove. Um, six, carb, six carbs, three dietary fibers. Six grams of protein. So, I will definitely um, use this as a breading of some sort or, or topping on a keto cupcake or such. They had birch benders. Uh, Pancake and waffle mix. Now, I'm really not a huge fan of this. It's it's okay to me. It's fine if you add, uh, you have to add berries, some frozen uh, or fresh, whatever, uh, berries to this uh, with a little uh, whipping cream and and then, then it's good. But um, still, I like my own version uh, made with almond flour. I don't know what it is that they're adding to this that just has kind of a weird strange maybe it's the tiger nut flour i have never heard of that they have that in here and that might be the weird thing that i'm tasting they had some lilies this is the pumpkin spice white chocolate style uh stevia sweetened uh, pumpkin spice flavor baking chips i love pumpkin so i was glad to see it and let's see uh, all right it is good until 12 31 2022 so, Lilies. I've never had this. This is the Birch Bender uh, Vanilla Frosting, so I will definitely use this, keto friendly. One net carb. Palm oil, erythritol, cassava starch, not a fan. Uh, coconut oil, um, a vanilla extract, but contains coconut. I know that I'm not a processed food fan, but difficult times call for difficult measures. Uh, I'm gonna have to cave a bit until I have a job. Check out this guacamole mix. This was $5.99 at the grocery store. Uh, guacamole dip mix. Let's see, just add avocados and um, tomatoes, you could just add diced, like cilantro. I've got cilantro in my herb garden out there. 
So I will definitely be making this soon. Here's the Classico uh, tomato and basil. Um, that's the uh, pasta sauce. Uh, it's a little higher in carbs. It's not like Rayo's. I mean, it's uh, eight carbs, two fibers, five total sugars, no added sugar, and two proteins. So it will have to do. Bob's Red Mill Arrowroot Flour. Now, I knew about arrowroot. It's a little higher in carbs. Um, it's really paleo and gluten-free. Um, but I did see a recipe about some arrowroot uh, bread, which I may try this and, and, and make that. Um, I mean, the ingredients are arrowroot starch. <laughs> One ingredient, I like that, but it is a starch. Um, so, great for thickening soup sauces and pie fillings. Used for gluten-free baking, grain-free. Skippy natural peanut butter. I had to pass on all the beans, <laughs> all the rice. <laughs> well, I had to pass on a lot of things, but at least I walked out, you know, with a small cart of groceries. This was a shocker. Starbucks dark roast, which is what I like, French roast coffee. Nice pound. Best before February 2022. So technically it's expired, but that's a best before. I'm gonna make it. So here I have some tomato juice, you know. At first they wanna give you the fruit juice with, you know, 150 grams of sugar in it, but I asked, I said, do you have any tomato juice? Because I knew that I could make soup or do something with this. And also this uh, bone broth chicken. This looks like the Aldi's brand, but I can make a pot of soup uh, with this, which I will do. Here I have some Country Peach Passion uh, tea, herbal tea. Just another thing I was happy that I could have picked off this big large table. I mean, it was hard. It was... I know I took a lot longer than most people were just, you know, picking their items, but I was looking at labels and that's just the way, you know, uh, doing the best that I can. Here's a compromise. Now I do still have some um, keto flowers in my pantry that I can make with my, uh, you know, my Philips pasta machine, but in a hurry. Um, this was off the gluten-free table. This is pasta made with zucchini. So it's still, you know, pretty high in carbs. It's like, yeah. 36 carbs so this is you know and they give you all this you know tuna and i mean i could see making a, a little tuna casserole with this um but you would have to like spread out your meals and think about how you're doing this so um you know maybe a little higher in carb that day lower that day you know however i can make it work but i know that i am not doing this again <laughs> this is a little worse 45 carbs and I don't know if I'm gonna even deal with this but I picked it up just in case this is brown rice pasta vegetable spirals all right well made from whole grain there you have it's grain you gotta eat they had a whole table of Girl Scout cookies I about died uh, it killed me to pass that up. All right, but we have uh, water chestnuts. I did get a bunch of canned ve vegetables, as I uh, said, but here we have um, albacore, wild tuna, which I think I will make a tuna uh, casserole salad with that. And then we also have a bunch of the cans of white chicken. I just pulled out one of each, but they gave me a lot more. Uh, this was two visits. Um, you can go twice a month. And I, I, I really don't think I need to go that much because I'm not eating, uh, you know, all those meals, that, you know, three days, only twice a day. I really had to think about this. 
but I thought, well, I'm not doing this every morning. It's gonna be okay if I do this, you know, once or twice a week for breakfast and then have the lower carb uh, meal uh, for late lunch. That's how I do it. I do breakfast and late lunch. Uh, so this is 100 calories. Really nice ingredients. And you know I'm all about the ingredients, so I'm like, the ingredients are nice. They're not bad at all, so I'm going to go with it. 18 carbs, 3 fibers, 1 soluble, 2 insoluble, uh, less than 1 gram of sugar, 4 grams of protein, um, and it's, yeah, whole grain rolled oats, flax seed, uh, salt, sugar, natural artificial flavors, uh, sucralose, caramel color. So, this is really delicious too, I have to tell you. One is not enough. So it's 200 calories. Two of these in the microwave, 90 seconds. It's delicious. So that is something I make sparingly. Really, maybe I really shouldn't do this more than once a week. This is the naughtiest item that I picked up. Uh, but it's Trader Joe's Pumpkin Chocolate Chunk Oatmeal Cookie Mix. Uh, <laughs> It's 12 grams. Um, sugar is the first ingredient. But all of the ingredients are so clean that I'm like, you know, I could make this and eat these cookies in moderation and make them very small. Yeah. Of all the things that I was passing up, I mean, it, this was a really good option for a cookie. Uh, so I, I just feel like I made the best choices possible that were available to me. This isn't everything. They were just wonderful. I'm telling you, I have the best food pantry ever. I'm so glad that I had donated to them. So they gave me butter. Back in 2013, it was margarine. I always passed it up. I'm like, no, 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 I'm not doing margarine. But now, the only option is butter. Good for them. But look at this. <laughs> look at these pork chops. Yeah, these are great. So, uh, I mean, like I said, this was from two different trips. So they gave you one each time. So I have two pork chops and I have two uh, pounds of hamburger, which you know how much that is now. And then I also have two of the, uh, the hot dogs. Uh, one I have in the refrigerator right now. Uh, but I still had some hamburger, so that's why I still have in my freezer what the food pantry uh, gave me. I also have some chicken tenders that I had previously. Um, so now uh, I actually have some food and I'm very grateful for that. The one thing I'd like to lastly say a regret, but I didn't know I was going to lose my job, is uh, with the Dave Ramsey program, they make you pay off, <laughs> we'll tell you, they encourage you to pay off all of your the, all of the bills that you have and only have a $1,000 starter savings account. So unfortunately, when I lost my job, that's all I had left in savings. I paid off a lot on that credit line, so essentially I have a, you know, a buffer, but that's not how the plan was intended to go. I do wish that I had left more money in my savings account though, instead of paying all those bills. So uh, if you lost your job or if, you know, things are hard, don't be afraid to go to the food bank, to go to your local food pantry. That's, that's what it's there for, um, to help us through these hard times. I mean, with these gas prices and the food prices, we need all the help that we can get. Thanks for coming by for another video, and we will see you uh, next time.